awesome. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching Game of Thrones Season 7, Episode 2. Now, Daenerys finally she made it to Dragonstone. She finally made it. She made it back to Westeros. Cool. Now she plots her plan to invade King's Landing. I cannot wait. It is going to be so goddamn good. And Euron Greyjoy and Cersei kind of made a deal. Not really. Cersei kind of denied him, which doesn't really make too much sense because it's like, well, she kind of has no other allies. She needs him, but I think she denied him at first. She's going to make him work a little bit harder than he than he probably really needs to. Just so she doesn't come off as desperate and the deal as best as it can be for her, you know? That's just, that's what I'm assuming. But yeah, Cersei knows that Daenerys is coming for her and everything. She had talked about it with Jaime. Um, she basically knows that Tyrion's over with her too. And she's like, you know what? We got to keep this dynasty alive. And Jamie's like, dog, we have no children. <laughs> like, no one's gonna continue our name. And then she's like, she's like, it would then it'll be a, a dynasty just for us. And it's like, dog, you got I give you two years max. Two years max. So I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the following three action, that will be available on Patreon as early access. So the next two episodes of Game of Thrones will also be available on Patreon. So let's get started. Not so many lions. Cersei controls fewer than half the Seven Kingdoms. Well, they plotted against her. Now... They cry out for their true queen. Exactly. <laughs> Secret toasts to my health. People used to tell my brother that sort of thing, and he was stupid enough to believe them. <laughs> fuck her brother. Viserys, fuck that fool. I hated that fool so much. He'd have invaded King's Landing already. Conquering mm -hmm. Westeros would be easy for you. But you're not here to be Queen of the Ashes. We gotta keep the people. Mm -hmm. that We're not here to burn everything down. Without turning it into a slaughterhouse. Yep. If the great houses support your claim against Cersei, the game is won. Hmm, the game. Game of Thrones. Our side, my queen, because they believe in you. You served my father, didn't you, Lord Varys? There have been few rulers in history as cruel as the Mad King. Robert was neither mad nor cruel. No interest in being king. So you took it upon yourself to find a better one? Your grace. <laughs> Tyrion had to stop that conversation. Queen in the east. Before I came to power. Oh shit. Until your marriage to Carl Drogo, your grace, I knew nothing about you save your existence and that you were said to be beautiful. Saving his ass so hard. Forced to the Dothraki. Which you turn to your advantage. Who gave the order to kill me? It's King Robert. King Robert. Who sent word to Essos to murder Daenerys Targaryen? Your grace. Oh, no. I did what had to be done to, to keep yourself alone. Yeah. Proven himself a loyal servant. Proven himself loyal quite the opposite. Oh no. The kind the realm needs. Yeah. Incompetence should not be rewarded with blind loyalty. Mm -hmm. He serves the realm. Yes, I'll use them. Oh. Damn, he really stood up to her like that. If you demand blind allegiance, I respect your wishes. Grey Worm can behead me, or your dragons can devour me. No! If you let me live, I will serve you well. I will dedicate mm -hmm. myself to seeing you on the Iron Throne, because I choose you. Yeah, I see. Swear this to me, Varys. If you ever think I'm failing the people who conspire behind my back, mm -hmm. you'll look me in the eye as you have done today, and you'll tell me how I'm failing them. Yes. I swear it, my queen. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I feel like the, like the only reason why he didn't do that in the past is because they would fucking kill him for him trying to tell him, hey, look, you're doing a shitty ass job, you know, but she's humble enough. I'll burn you alive. Nope. <laughs> that was a good, that was a good conversation. You know, she's humble enough to want people to be like, hey, look, you're fucking up here, you know. If you try to tell that to Joffrey, he's going to have you killed. Or like Cersei, they, their ego cannot handle that. Their eagle, <gasps> Melisandre. Oh fuck! You were not. You were told. Oh my god, dude. I mean, she did go south. She once served another who wanted the Iron Throne. No. <laughs> it didn't end well for Stannis Baratheon, did it? Nope. So are you? I didn't. You chose an auspicious day to arrive at Dragonstone. We've just decided to pardon those who once served the wrong king. Oh shit. Bosses bantis amazis. So his promise can bring the dawn. I'm afraid I'm not a prince. Yeah, but we know who that prince is. Quite accurate. Oh. That noun has no gender in High Valyrian, so the proper translation for that. Mm, okay. The prince or princess who was. Oh. Okay. And you believe this prophecy refers to me? Prophecies are 
dangerous for you. Yeah, well, she already switched off John? All right. As does another. Hmm. The king in the north, John Snow. There, okay, there we go. There we go. John Snow. Yeah. <laughs> Ned Stark's bastard. Yeah. You know him? Oh, yeah, they go way back to season one. Him to the war when he joined the Night's Watch. Yeah. Because he's all fucked. Wait, does Melisandre know he's a Targaryen? Nah, she just has so much belief in him because of what he was able to do. He has united those wildlings with the northern houses, so together they may face their common enemy. He sounds mm -hmm. like quite a man. Oh, he is. Summon Jon Snow. Yes. Let him stand before you and That's a power you. couple right there. <laughs> the things that he has seen with his own eyes. Mm hmm. Dude, Melisandre coming through. But I like Jon Snow, and I trusted him. Yes, me too. He is him. In the North, he would make a valuable ally. Jon Snow has even more reason to hate Cersei than you do. Send a raven north. Tell Jon Snow that his queen invites him to come to Dragonstone. Bad. And bend the knee. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, Jon has no... Jon doesn't have the ego to be like, nah. You know? But okay, back what I wanted to say before, like... I don't want to interrupt anyone, but Varys had a very strong point about him serving the realm. Like, if the one, if the first king is failing, you know, he's like, "Fuck this! This is a lost cause. I'm out of here. I'm off to the next one, so I can actually make a difference." Okay, I'm gonna talk about it more in the outro. Tyrion's not like the other Lannisters. He's different. He's always kind to me, but it's too great a risk. <sighs> Together, we can end her tyranny. I mean, it sounds, it, yeah, from their perspective, it sounds too good to be true. The casual mention of a Dothraki horde, a legion of unsullied and three dragons. Mm hmm. What? Fire kills whites, you told me. Mm hmm. Oh, the, yeah, the, yeah, the dragons. Yeah. Dog, I'm pretty sure I said that. And after Hard Home, I was like, if he can make an alliance with Daenerys, we have the dragons. Boom. I'm per or, I'm pretty, like, no, once Bran, um, Fuck, whenever, whenever it was, whatever episode it was where, like, you know, Bran accidentally summoned them or whatever. Oh, season six, episode five. We found out that the fire, I think I said it then. I'm pretty sure. Dothraki heathens who will burn your villages to the ground. None of them are going to join you, dude. Hell no. You will remember the Mad King. You remember the horrors he inflicted upon him. This ain't going to work. His daughter is no different. Well, I mean, like, we know she's insane. she's literally the opposite. And I will, but I need your help, my lords, if we hope to stop her. She has three full-grown dragons, your grace. Yeah, fuck, we're gonna do about that. Same as Aegon when he conquered the Seven Kingdoms. Mm-hmm. Do you propose to stop them? <laughs> you caught her there. <laughs> You're not. Lord Tarly. Oh, Tarly! Wow. Oh, yeah. This this is fucking Jamie. Uh, Sam's dad. Oh, yeah. I thought he was familiar. My queen summons me. I answer the call. Yeah, I remember that deep ass voice. You were the only man to defeat Robert Baratheon in battle. Not even Rhaegar Targaryen. Because long. Yep. That's what Stannis said to Sam. Including Elena Tyrell. Mm. I'm a Tarly. That name means something. Yeah. We're not oath breakers, we're not schemers. We don't stab our rivals in the back or cut their throats of weddings. Yeah. The Dothraki in Westeros for the first time in history. I know you don't like my sister, but you have to make a choice. Do you fight with us? No. Or with foreign savages and eunuchs? I'll take, uh, I'll take Daenerys and her three dragons. The queen will need a new warden of the south. I can think of no better man than Randall Tarly. Dude, Jamie's trying so hard right now. <laughs> the years before he kills you. Oh, okay. Okay. Those... Old hill. You're fully stoned. Your mind? Yeah. Six months. Maybe fewer. Ah. Uh, so really, he has like six months. Before it starts fucking with his mind. I met Stannis Baratheon's daughter at Castle. Yes. No. Have you studied the varying rates of grayscale progression in infants and fully grown men? No. <laughs> no. Mr. Crisson discovered Shireen Baratheon's affliction immediately. This is quite advanced and beyond our skills. Son. Yeah, like Joy's in the equivalent of stage four cancer. They found Shireen at stage one. Pointed night. I'll allow you one more day. Oh. 
How you choose to spend that time is up to you. Oh, should we send word to your family, sir? Jorah. Jorah Mormont. <gasps> Mormont? Yeah. I've been dead to them for years. But he doesn't know Sam was in the Night's Watch and he knew. That's, that's crazy. Have you ever been down here, your grace? No, I can't. What, what is this? Why do we have a Targaryen banner? That. Oh, is this just a bunch of shit? The, oh, these are all the drag. Wow. This is cool. I believe he brought his whores on occasion. <laughs> Elerion the Dread. The beast that Aegon rode across the sea. Wow. Flames forged the Iron Throne and brought the Seven Kingdoms to heal. Man, RIP my guy. <laughs> They can be killed. Mm. No, bro, you're no. <laughs> if you kindly pull that lever. You know what? You know what? That's actually not that bad because I know that fucking reload time is like five minutes. Okay. Oh, it, it's an old school. Okay. It's it's fragile now. It doesn't count. Um. You got one shot, and then you got like five minutes to fucking reload that bitch, okay? If you miss, if you miss, that's the difference between winning and losing, okay? That nah, dragon's moving fast, okay? I don't know how fast you can move that gun. My greatest regret is that Oberyn died fighting for you. That's <sighs> I am not here to be queen of the ashes. <laughs> that's what he said. Of I can't remember a queen who was better loved than my granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> She's so petty. She's so her. I mean, I am too, bro. I am too. R.I.P. Marsh. Unless they fear you. 50-50 on that. I'd rather be respected than feared, if I'm being honest. I'd rather, I, but I think a little bit of fear is required. Just a, just a tiny bit. The Iron Throne. By asking nicely. Nah, I'd say like 60-40. 60% respect, 40% fear. Our army should be Westerosi. And I suppose we are providing the Westerosi. Yep. Forgive me for asking, but why did you bother to bring your own? Uh, the Unsullied will have another objective. And the seat of that power is Costly Rock. Yeah, we're gonna go to Costly Rock. A worm and the Unsullied will sail for the rock and take it. Take it all at the same time. I like it. Mm -hmm. And we will bring peace back to Westeros. Peace. No such thing. Your father, or mm -hmm. his father, or his. No. There's fear. I've known a great many clever men. I've outlived them all. <laughs> you know, you're a dragon. Be a dragon. Mm -hmm. Use your dragons. But you don't want to. But then again, you don't want to burn down the entire city and kill everyone. And there's no one to rule over, and you don't want to be the Queen of Ashes. So, it's tricky, it's tricky. Are you going to say goodbye? Of course, baby. I will see you when I return. Oh. I wish you good fortune. Thanks. <laughs> it is hard for me to say goodbye to you. Why? Because I love you. You know why? I don't. <laughs> oh, she wants him to say it. You are my weakness. <laughs> That's as close as you're gonna get. Your weakness. Oh, he didn't mean it like that. But I had no fears. I was bravest. Always. Until I meet Miss Andy. And he's afraid of losing her. That's his fear. I think you guys should fuck before he leaves, just in case. Oh, he's going for it. <laughs> Wait, no, didn't they cut his dick off? <laughs> Never mind. Mmm. I want to see you. Bro, there's nothing to see. I'm pretty sure they literally cut his dick off. Wait, so then how does he pee? Damn, good for Grey Worm, bro. Good for him. I may have found a way to treat Sajora. Mmm. There are two recorded cases of advanced grayscale being cured. I'm familiar with Archmaster Pylos and his study of rare diseases. i tell you how he died. In grayscale? In grayscale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Procedure's far too dangerous, which is why it's now forbidden. Oh. That was a good try. Oh, Sam is going to find the cure. He'll find the answer. 
He'll grind this out or something. Oh no, oh it's Tora. He's writing her a letter. Oh, Sam's gonna do the procedure himself. Sam has, yep, Sam has the most great, dude. What are you doing? I'm about to perform surgery on your ass, all right? Hey, Shut hey, up. The only son of Giorgio. My name is Samuel Tarly. That's why uh, Sam wants to help him so bad. Yep. He was maester at Castle Black. Mm -hmm. I knew your father. I was with him when he died. That's why Sam wants to help him so much, because he's part of the Night's Watch and his... You're not dying today, so... <laughs> hey, hell yeah! Because his dad was a little commander. George's dad, I mean. What is it? Rum. Drink it all, please. I'm afraid this is going to hurt. Yeah, drink this so he won't feel shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's like, let me get some first. It's respect. I don't want surgery unless my doctor is literally drunk. Just so I know they're not nervous. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Like, cuts the skin off, you know? Ah, like, you have to do it so precisely to cut just enough of the skin off. Not too much, though, to where, like, you'll bleed out or something, if you know what I mean. I don't know. Or burn it off or some shit. I'm here, and if they hear you screaming, then we both finish. Have you ever done this before? Nope. <laughs> No one else will try it, so I'm the best you've got. George's like, fuck it, I don't care. We're doing it. <laughs> I'm going to have to remove the entire upper of infected tissue, then apply a medicinal oh. ointment to them. Don't even tell him, just do it. Ah, this is gonna hurt so bad. <clears throat> Again, I'm sorry. Ugh. <clears throat> oh. oh. Dude, <laughs> that... Ah. <laughs> Ew, dude, that's so gross. It's like pop. It's like popping a pimple. Ugh. It's like the pus that comes out, you know. Dude, I thought they were gonna cut away by now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> dude, George is a soldier, bro. Wait, is that a... Okay, they cut scenes right there. Oh my god. At first I was like, what the fuck is that? But no, it's just his food. That was a good that was a very good cut. Very good edit. One more round. It's a long ride. Harry! <laughs> Alright. Oh, Hoppy! What's up? Fari was listening to the people behind her. It's browning the butter before making the dough. Mm. Most people don't do that because it takes up too much time. I'm gonna write that down. Okay. Making, pies. making pies. One or two. Did you meet the big lady? Why does Arya have like a Chicago accent now? <laughs> I figured she was a knight because she had armor on. She was looking for your sister, but I told her about you. Mm hmm. Pretty. Mm -hmm. Right, when Rand came. Pod. Mm hmm. Told her to piss off. You got any ale? <laughs> Bro, Arias has some character development. <laughs> I don't know, just like her attitude right now and like the way she's talking, like her tone and her voice, drinking all that ale and stuff. He... Where are you heading? King's Landing. Kill the queen. Boom. Mm. I can't believe someone would do that. Cersei would do that. Yeah. I thought you'd be heading for Winterfell. Why would I go there? The Boltons have it. Not anymore. Mm -hmm. The Boltons are dead. Yep. Oh shit, she, she has to go to Winterfell now. The Wild and Army and won the Battle of the Bastards. Yep. He's King of the North now. Oh, yeah. You're lying. Well, no. Well, about that. He's your brother, right? Oh, this changes everything. This changes everything. She's going, right? Friends don't pay. Aww. Can't believe I thought you were a boy. <laughs> You're pretty. Take care of yourself, hot pie. Yeah, she's going to Winterfell immediately. Yes, please never. Never die. I'm a survivor. Good. I hope he doesn't die now that he said that. Dude, she looks so badass in this outfit. Yep, she's going to Winterfell. She has to go see John and Sansa and all of them. Damn, Arya's at that point in the video game where like your character is like 90% maxed out. There's still some work to be done, but like you're basically just a god in the game now. You know what I mean? This message was sent to me by Samuel Tarly. He's discovered proof that Dragonstone sits on a mountain of Dragonglass. Mm-hmm. 
Wait, 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 wait. So now he has to go to Dragonstone. I received this. From Daenerys. Okay, yep. Yep. He's going, 100%. He is now hand of the queen to Daenerys Targaryen. Like he was literally gonna go anyway. And yeah, Valish. Three dragons. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go bend that motherfucking knee to her. To meet with Daenerys. And I'm going to accept. Bro, this is honestly. Yeah, he's gonna accept, yep. Bro, this is so crazy. And he doesn't even know he's a fucking Targaryen. <laughs> Their army. We need to mine it and turn it into weapons. Mm -hmm. And the fire from the dragons. But more importantly, we need allies. That too. Them on our own. We don't have the numbers. Then persuade her to fight with us. So Davos and I will. She literally. Mel Swan already did that for you. Have you forgotten what happened to our grandfather? Nah. The king invited him to King's Landing and roasted him alive. I know that. She is here to reclaim. The That's not. Kingdom. It's not gonna happen again. The trap. It could be. Fuck. But I don't believe Tyrion would do that. You yes. Mean. Yes. He's a good man. But like at the same time, it's just a raven. Like anyone could have sent this raven. You have no. You don't know if Tyrion's actually there or not. Yeah, Targaryen can't be trusted. Shit. No one can the Lannister. Yeah. We called your brother king, and then he rode south and lost his kingdom. We need the king in the north. In the north. Yeah. I see their skepticism. I totally see it. You all crowned me your king. I never wanted it. Oh. I never asked for it. So humble. Because the North is my home. It's part of me, and I will never stop fighting for it, no matter the odds. But the odds are against us. Mm hmm Like, it's, a, it's worth the risk. You have seen the army of the dead, none of you. We can never hope to defeat them alone. Powerful allies. I know it's a risk. Yep. It's worth it though. To take it. Then send an emissary. Yeah. Don't go yourself. Daenerys is a queen. Only a king can convince her to help us. Yeah. It's, it's like customary or whatever. You're abandoning your home. I'm leaving both in good hands. Whose? Your. Your. Yep. Until I return, the north is yours. Ugh. Baelish. Baelish is. He's. Baelish is going through a million calculations right now in his head to figure out exactly what he, his next move is going to be. He's literally doing that Doctor Strange right now, seeing every single possibility. Bones myself. Oh god, he already came up with it. <laughs> Your father and brothers are gone, yet here you stand, king in the north. Last one. Yeah. You don't belong down here. <laughs> John can see through him. Yeah. I wanted to remedy that. I have nothing to say to you. <laughs> Not even thank you. Yeah. You have many enemies, my king, but I swear to you, I'm not one of them. Until you are. As I loved her mother. <gasps> oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh shit! John, John, chill, John, chill. Touch my sister, and I'll kill you myself. Uh, that was probably necessary. At least John knows better than trust him. You know, like. His loyalties only lie with whoever's gonna benefit him the most. So, it's like Varys, like what Varys told uh, Daedarius in the beginning of the episode, but except that um, Varys finally found what he thinks is the, tr you know, his final leader he's gonna follow, I guess. Baelish, nah, Baelish plans to betray whoever he's with, like eventually. Varys has the, int I th feel like Varys has the intent of staying until they pro prove him wrong, and then he's like, okay. I'm out. Like, Varys just genuinely wants to help until, you know, they show him, like, why he shouldn't serve them anymore, if that makes sense. Baelish is just planning to leave eventually from the beginning. I hope that makes sense. Oh, nope. Oh, it's just wolves. I mean, just wolves? You know, this is actually a fucking problem. <laughs> is one of these wolves gonna fucking talk to us or some shit? Are they gonna pull some bullshit like that? Oh, no, that's a dire wolf. Nymeria? <gasps> Nymeria? From season one, when she ran off after attacking Joffrey? It's me, Arya. 
Holy fuck. I'm heading north, girl. Yeah. Come with me. Come on. Dude, it's been so long. How does this diary wolf even remember her? Okay, it remembers her enough to have the respect to just walk away. Wow. Damn. Because if, if that if Numeria had no idea who Arya was, it would have just killed her. That's not you? Oh, okay. Then, then why don't walk away? All right, whatever. Now, when I saw the dire wolf on there, I was like, wait, no. That one was Arya's dire wolf. I thought in my head, that's Dar that's Arya's dire wolf. Or whatever, and like I was blanking on the name, and then she she literally said it before I could remember it, so. A boy in a report. A boy? A girl? Mmm, yeah, that's right. Yep. Why are you standing all the way over there, then? Because that's my Foreign sister, dog. <laughs> Foreign invasion is <laughs> Truly. Seems like you don't need a protector. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, what the hell happened? No, did our uncle find us? Wait, is this gift like Yara's head or some shit to Cersei? Is that what he meant his gift was? That's a big ass ship. Bullshit. Yeah, that, yeah, okay. That's your own great joy ship. Yep. Dog, bullshit. Uh, oh no, dude! Don't tell me this is how Yar and Theon die. I have so many problems with how big that fuck with how big this fucking ship is. I'm gonna say after though. Oh yeah, these door scrolls are gonna go off though. Oh my god. Come on, Yara. Dude, this is so fucked up. <gasps> oh yeah, get him, get him, get him. Oh no. No way, I don't think Yoren dies. I don't think he dies. No way, no way. Uh. No! Not the Dornish girl. <sighs> That's brutal. Uh. No, he's gonna kill her. Damn. LAR she's gonna die. No, they're gonna take they're gonna take her alive. That that's gonna be the gift for Cersei, her. Alright, they might just cut her head off and then show it to Cersei. Or whatever, but either way she's going to the King's Landing. Yara, come on, Yara, I have faith. Come on. <laughs> Give your uncle a kiss. Ew. Oh. Dude, uh, come on. I really don't want Theon to die either. Oh, no. If Theon, like, no, dude. Theon. Uh. Yara's dead. I have her. Come and get her. Uh. Theon, what do you. No, Theon, you gotta step up. You're not. You're not Reek anymore. You're not Reek. You're Theon Greyjoy. Oh. Come on. He can't. And Yorin. Oh, yeah, Yorin knows it. Oh. <gasps> Theon. Is that Yara? Fuck, that is her. Oh. And Alara, too, I think. Maybe he's up there. Can't really tell. I think that's just one of the other Dorn girls, though. 
Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh boy. Theon. Dog. Theon. <laughs> Alright. I had too much faith in Theon. I had way too much. I I was so confident that when it came down to it, there was going to come a moment where he had to decide whether he was going to be Reek or Theon, right? And I was, I was so confident he was going to become Theon. But no, I wasn't. I, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was very wrong. <sighs> Even on the boat when um they were just drinking or whatever, and she asked him to get him more uh whatever they were drinking, more ale, whatever. His spirit still looked pretty broken. Like even as, like even the uh, uh, the scenes earlier at Dragonstone with him and it, just him in the background, his spirit looked broken. Like his body language, it just still broken, you know. So, but I was so confident if it came down to Yara's life, he was going to do something about it, you know? Like, he was going to go out swinging for her. But no, he let her die. Like, I was confident that it's like, okay, it's either he has to sacrifice himself to make sure she lives. He was going to do it to make sure she lives because he knew Queen of Ironborn, but no. But okay, to be fair in that situation, like, what could have Theon really done? Like... What could he have really have done? If he, like, charged or whatever, cool. He would have just slit Yara's throat and then stabbed Theon. Like, there's nothing he could have done, I guess. But I... I don't know, dude. I don't know. Like, if he tried to do something, he was probably going to die. And it wasn't, like, a guarantee that Yara was going to make it out of it. Yara probably still would have died anyway. And then Theon would have just died on top of it, too, if he did try something. So it's like, uh, I mean, I guess. I don't know, but... I'm pretty I'm actually pretty surprised they left him behind. Well, actually, probably left him behind because he's like, well, Yuren's probably like, you know what? He jumped in the water, don't even go after him. Let him live. Let him go tell Daenerys what just happened and everything. And plus, like, they don't see him as like a threat or anything. Like, Yar is more of a threat to them than anything, than Theon. So it's like, okay. They were just probably just happy they killed her. And I'm pretty sure. That was, Yara, that was Yara hanging right there. And then the girl who was also stabbed, I'm pretty sure that was just one of the um, the Dorn girls, not Ella. Let me let me look at it again to like double check. I can't, I didn't, you can't really see a face. Yeah, I'm like 99% sure that's just one of the Dorn girls. Um, I mean, we'll find out in the next episode, I guess. But shit, dude, shit. I don't know. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if like, Theon honestly kind of offs himself because of how guilty he feels about it. I would not be surprised if that ends up happening. I'll be hurt, but I won't be surprised. I don't know. Or he could have this sick ass redemption arc to where he's like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm a bitch. I gotta stop being a bitch. And then he just goes on to be this god tier leader, which I highly doubt. But that would be sick. <laughs> I highly doubt that. But like, you know. <sighs> yeah would be nice though would be nice like he ends up becoming what yara was supposed to be doubt it i don't know i think i think a death for him would have been perfect to where this wasn't the situation for it because like i said he probably would have died anyway but he yeah he sacrifices himself for yara because he knows that she is the answer to the ironborn she will rule the ironborn she's the best leader they have or whatever and so he makes sure that happens like he takes out year on it at the same time or some shit i don't know if that would have been a great theon death but honestly i was pretty nervous both of them might have died right there i was like you know what yeah if theon doesn't flee they're both gonna die so i'm i mean i'm happy one of them lived but like i'm just like god damn it dude I just don't like the way it happened. It's like, fuck, that's so shitty. <laughs> like, I'm highly disappointed in Theon, dude. I am so disappointed in him now. He needs to have a redemption arc. It needs to start now. But that just shows you, like, how badly Ramsay broke him, dude. <laughs> Fucking Ramsay, dude. Even after that fucker's dead, still having an impact on everyone. <sighs> but okay, into some more upbeat news. We got to see Hot Pocket, which was a nice surprise in this episode. Um, I hope Hot Pocket is just one of the characters who just never dies. 
I'll be so happy about that. Like, okay, this this is kind of a spoiler, but like, I do know for a fact, Braun does not die. I know that for a fact. And I'm so happy he doesn't die. He's the only character that's like, I know for sure doesn't die. I hope Hot Pocket's one of them. Like, I hope there's like, I hope there's just like a, a couple like side characters, you know, like that who just never die. Cause I think that'd be pretty cool. I think that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, I hope he's one of them. And then yeah, Arya found out. Oh yeah, guess what? When Boltons don't have Winterfell anymore. It's actually Jon. He's king of the North, and Sansa's there. And Arya's like, "Bet, fuck the queen, fuck King's Landing. I'm going there." Which, I mean, like, dog. I I seriously don't doubt that if she does go to King's Landing, she'll kill Cersei. I don't doubt that at all. I think she'll be able to do it. But but like, she's so desperate to see her family and everything. It's just like, fuck. And honestly, in this episode, or in the last one too, I kind of like, it's kind of hit me like how hard, like how much uh, character development Arya has, re has really had. It's like, damn, she's come a long way, dude. She's come a long ass way. But, you know, I'm sure if like, Jon understood her, like what she's about and everything, that she's definitely capable of killing Cersei, he probably would be like, you know what, I wish you would have went there first and killed her first. But, you know, it's like, there's no guarantee that if she does go to King's Landing first, she'll succeed and then be able to go to Winterfell and everything like that. I'm kind of just thinking, I'm kind of guessing that she chose to go to Winterfell first so she can make sure she sees her family one more time at least, and then she'll go off to King's Landing and get and do her business. But it would be a massive help if she did kill Cersei for us. That would be a massive help. I feel like once this war does happen, well, actually, after what just happened with the Iron War, I don't know anymore. I don't know about that one anymore. <laughs> Daenerys is gonna have to be like, oh, time out, time out, time out. Her and Tyrion, time out. I don't know if they, I don't know really know if they're gonna attack anymore now because it kind of changes a lot. Okay. But what I was gonna say is, I feel like. Arya is gonna kill Cersei once this big ass battle is happening and they're all fighting. I feel like that's when Cersei will die because I feel like that's when Arya will kill Cersei. So, okay. If Arya is the one to kill her, I feel like that's when it would happen. But yeah, so, and that's great. Jon's going to Dragonstone. He was gonna go there anyway for the dragon glass. Now that he got the letter from Daenerys and everything, I totally forgot about Sam and all that dragon glass too, if I'm being honest. Totally forgot about that until he mentioned it right there. So, okay, he has two good reasons to go. Well, but then I get everyone else in the north. Like, they're all super skeptical of it. Because they're like, yo, do you not remember what happened to our grandfather? What the Mad King did? Like, what Sansa said and everything? You know, that's a very valid point. You know, like, what everyone else said about it. Like, you can't trust a Targaryen. But it's very valid. I totally get their skepticism. But it's a risk Jon has to take. It's a risk he has to take. But, I mean, like, as an audience watching the show, we know that Daenerys is a very, very good person, and she would never do this. She would never do what the Mad King did. So, there's that. Uh, oh, yeah, and then, yeah, Melisandre came through, told uh, Daenerys about Jon. He's like, yo, you need to make allies with him. That's very cool. That was so clutch of Melisandre, even though we told her to fuck off. <laughs> Because, you know, like, well, Tredevils was like, kill her right now for killing Shireen. And John's like, look, I'll give you, get the fuck out of here, okay? If you come back, I'll kill you. But, so I'm still, I'm kind of shocked that Melisandre went all the way to Dragonstone just to tell Daenerys this for John. Like, that's, that's a bro. That's a bro move. So that made, that makes things a lot easier. Now, dude, okay, just wait till they find out he's a Targaryen. Wait till John knows he's a Targaryen, because I'm I'm very confident Brand will find him and tell him, hey, yo, John, you're a Targaryen and all that. So, and then I wonder how Daenerys is gonna react. I just I want to see like John's reaction to it. I'm sure he'll probably tell Daenerys. Well, actually, if he goes there, meets her, comes back, then Brand might be at Winterfell by the time he gets back from Daenerys from Dragonstone. I don't know. Whatever. They're gonna find out somehow, and I can't wait till then. And then Sam's about to cure Jorah. So, bet let's go. Let's go. I hope that works. I'm banking on that working. How hard. All right. So I just edited this video and I just wanted to come back and I forgot to mention my problem with the ship, right? With Euron's ship. The problem I have with it is that ship is way too goddamn big to be built in the amount of time from when he said, build me the ship until now. There is no fucking way. That ship is way too goddamn big. What? They use all their wood on this one ship? 
I, I'm assuming no. I'm assuming they have like one big ass ship like this and a bunch of smaller ones or whatever. There's no way though. This motherfucker literally built Noah's Ark in like three months. There's no way. <laughs> okay, whatever. It doesn't even matter. But also, I also remembered, you know, the actor in um, season six, episode eight, I think, I think that's when they introduced them. He was the, the dude who helped the hound, you know, who like saved his life, gave him a job at their little village and everything. And then like he died or whatever. I realized where that actor is from. And I saw a bunch of comments of you guys saying like, oh, he's from like the show called like Deadwood. And you guys were like, oh, you probably saw him in that. And I'm like, I, I've never heard of that show once in my life. But, and like, it hit me. I literally had a dream about this like two days ago where he's from. I had a dream of the exact scene that he's in. He's from fucking Hot Rod. He's the dad in Hot Rod. That's where I know him from. That's the only other thing I've seen him in. And the last time I saw that was probably like 2010, honestly. Yeah. So that's cool. That's cool. And like, it bothered me so much to know where he's from because like when I saw him, like I need to know who this is. He triggered an emotion for me. Like he's not just a, like, he's not just any random actor. Like he's from something I know and I have to know what he's from it's because I loved the movie Hot Rod when I was super young. I was like, I was like eight years old when I first saw that movie and I loved it so much. And I felt some type of way about the dad in that movie. And that's why when I saw him in Game of Thrones, I was like, who is this? I was like, who is this? I know I know him from somewhere. Who is he? So, and it's cool that Jor and Sam can meet each other, you know? Because, you know, Sam's doing this out of the peer respect he had for the Lord Commander Mormont. That's why he's like, I'm dedicated. I served the Night's Watch. I served your dad. So I'm not, I'm never giving up on you. I will fix you or whatever. I love that determination by Sam. I feel so good. Oh yeah. And then over in King's Landing, speaking of the tar Tarleys, the Tarleys, um, Jamie's trying to convince Sam's dad to join him and everything. So it's like, ah, there's that. They, King's Landing really has no allies. But then Euron's gonna come back with Elia, her head and everything, I'm pretty sure, bring her back alive, some shit like that, as the gift, so there's all that. Okay, I can't wait for next episode, so anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time, we're just gonna... Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments, and if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.